Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be a video on how to add PlayStation games to your RetroPie, especially if you have the Raze 128 gigabyte image. Um, the first thing to do is just load up the image and connect your Wi-Fi or plug in your uh, Pi to your network through a cabled connection. Here's how to configure your Wi-Fi. It's really easy. Just go into your um, emulation station, go to connect Wi-Fi, find your Wi-Fi, type in the password. It should give you a current IP address. You might want to take a photo of that or write that down. And then the next thing you do is just go hop onto your computer and uh, you're going to find your uh, Pi through the computer. There's another way to do this without your internet with a USB stick, but the internet, the, this way is just so simple. And you can see I've already done it here. I have my uh, network and uh, I'm just going to double click into RetroPie. It should just come up. If it doesn't come up, you can search it here through the IP address, typing the IP address up here. You can type it like 128 dot whatever, whatever your IP is, right? But uh, we just clicked RetroPie, and then we go to ROMs. And for this video, I'm going to do some extra PlayStation games because there's not a lot of PlayStation games on the um, on this image. If you want, so here's an example. I opened up the Disney's Atlantis uh, RAR file. Um, most of the ROMs already on this image are PBP files. Say that five times fast, and um, that's fine. What you're gonna find on that website is bins and queues. Queues is the bootable directory and then the bins is the actual CD because PlayStation was a CD-based system. And that's fine. The emulator, emulation station, the RetroPie will read both types of files just fine, but you do wanna uh, extract them out of the RINRAR and then just drop them into your ROM folder. So open up the, the zip, the RAR from wherever you downloaded them to. And then just, uh, I don't even, I just extract them directly into the Pi. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's transferring over the network extremely slow. Um, but if you're just doing like five, six games, you can do it in the background while you're doing something else. So I'm uh, adding these games onto the Pi as we speak. And then what I do is I just go back to the Raspberry Pi, just do a quick reboot on Emulation Station, and then uh, we're golden. So my Pi was on the whole time for that because I um, needed the network onto it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and restart Emulation Station really quick. All right, so let's scroll over to PlayStation. Added Worms World Party and Disney's Atlantis and E.T. So here's three games. Let's go ahead and start with Disney's Atlantis. Yes. You can't push it, it's too weak. It's a big ass vent. You can literally go through that with his own body. Oh, there we go. All right, we got ET, extraterrestrial. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Run, buddy, run. Run, buddy, run. Oh, no. Oh. Where is he? How come? Oh, there you go. Run, Boris, run. That's kind of scary. Okay, you guys get the point. Alright. I'm thinking if I hit this, I should shoot him back a little bit. And also we can make him hit the landmark. The uh, landmine. <laughs> Not as good as I thought. It does not seem like a smart place to um, Sunday. Ah, pretty good. Except now I'm gonna kill both of his guys with my guys dying. That guy's dead now. We'll both go in the water at least. Now he's good too. Nice. As long as I can separate these two guys. That's it, we lost. So we're gonna go ahead and hit tab, go into our emulators, and go ahead and scrape the artwork for place, scrape the games for uh, PlayStation. Now, once this is done generating, I should be able to see the Atlantis and the games I've added. However, I didn't download any of the artwork, so they're just gonna come up as a big question mark. So here's Worms World Party. As you see, I didn't scrape the artwork. And then here, you'll see at Disney's Atlantis, I have two of them. It's because it's a two file game. And because it's a two file game, it's, it's reading both files. Um, there's a way to hide it, or there's another way to get rid of this. Uh, but for the meantime, because the ROMs have so many tracks, you see them all in a track mode. That's how you um, scrape the latest games to update your track mode. So it has all the latest games you have on it. I hope you like this video. It's very easy to add more ROMs, not only to PlayStation, but other systems, not only on Ray's image, but if you're starting an image of your own. If you could please like and subscribe, we would really appreciate it. There'll be some links with some info below. And we'll see you guys next time.